I'm Rob Wallace from the Sydney Concussion Centre and I'd like to welcome you to this concussion community course where we're looking at the neck and its impact on concussion. Our goal for this lecture series is to develop an exercise program for you that will reduce the impact of the neck on concussion but we also want it to be a simple exercise program that you can fit into your normal daily schedule. Firstly today, I'd like to explain why it's important to look at the neck after you have a concussion. A concussion injury occurs when there is an acceleration deceleration force placed on your head of 70 to 120 G's of force. A whiplash injury that affects the neck can occur with only four and a half G's of force. So every time you have a concussion, you have a whiplash injury as well that affects the neck, but more importantly, the upper neck. But how can you tell that you have a neck injury? 